This is Twit. Sean has asked a wonderful question that resulted in some experimentation on my part uh, to make sure we got this all sorted. Uh, Sean has written in and said this, I downloaded all of my Google Photos in order to back them up on an external drive. Is there a way to get my photos out of the zip files and keep the original photo name, etc. So, Sean, um, I think what you are looking at here, because when you use Google Photos to back up your photos, or if you use, uh, you know, if you use it for with your your iPhone, or if you use it with your Android device, um, it is sort of uploading all those photos to Google Photos, and you might make changes to them on the Google Photos site or in the Google Photos app, wherever that happens to be. Um, but when you sort of give them a name, you change the title of it, you add a description, maybe you add a caption, that kind of thing. All of that information is stored in the metadata for that photo. It's not the file name that gets changed. The file name is left alone, unless of course you actually manually change the file name. So I think what probably happens, Sean, is you downloaded your Google Photos via Google Takeout, and you went into, I, I, that's that's one uh, part that was not mentioned in your question, uh, the excerpt of your question, using Google Takeout for this. You uh, downloaded it, and you opened it up, and you saw a zip file, and or zip archive, you opened that archive, and inside you saw, uh, you know, 873942.jpg, and then 873942.jpg.json, JSON. Um, and you wondered, oh, well, where's the information for my photos? How do I make it so that the original photo name is kept, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Well, when you export your photos using Google Takeout, first and foremost, you should understand that what Google does is upon accepting your photo, it sort of has that main copy that's maintained. And that main copy is left alone from that point forward. The metadata that's included, you know, what took the photo, the device that took the photo, uh, if there's any GPS information, basically all of that metadata is stored within that, the EXIF information, right? And if you are then making changes to the photo, that is then exported and adjusted by way of the JSON file. All of the changes that you make to the photo in Google Photos are recorded by way of the JSON file. And so if you have gone into Google Photos after importing your photos and then you've added, you know, information from that point, you're going to want to kind of merge that data together. And so first and foremost, Sean, what I recommend is looking at any of the photos, opening them in a photo viewer of some sort, whatever photo viewer you use, and seeing if the information that you're wanting is already there. If the information that you're wanting is already there, then you're done. You don't need to do anything else. I ran a little test by uh, doing a Google takeout of a small Google Photos library and the metadata from the original photo that I imported into Google Photos was the same when I didn't change the photo at all uh, in the exported version in the JPEG file on its own. If you make a change to the photo using Google Photos, that's where things are in that, again, that JSON file. At which point then, if you are using Google Photos to kind of edit your photos and manage your photos, you will want that information. So. In order to do that, you can use a great open source tool called EXIF tool. Uh, we'll include a link in the show notes. It's at exiftool.org though. And EXIF tool lets you, yeah, the, the site is not entirely pretty. It is just a really great toolkit for doing exactly this. Um, I ran this test. I just used a uh, terminal on my Mac and you essentially 
go to the directory where your photos are stored. And what's great about it is it basically, it's, it's aware of how Google Takeout works. And so you go to the directory where your photos are stored, make sure that the JPEG files and the JSON files are in the same place and that they're left alone, don't change them. Um, make sure you have a backup of this library, um, or rather, yeah, yeah, your library of photos. And then you can run a simple uh, tool. It's, or rather uh, run a simple little script, exif tool. I, I'm not gonna go into detail with it, but essentially you tell it, take the JSON information that matches with the JPEG and put those together. And then this tool takes care of that for you. It'll pop in all of that metadata right into the photo and save it in that EXIF uh, for that JPEG. At that point, then you can take those JPEGs and put them onto the hard drive or wherever it is you're trying to back them up after that to an external drive. So Sean, that is how you take care of that. Um, ExifTool.org has loads of information on how to use it. You can also, you know, do a simple search and you'll find, uh, you know, Reddit threads and other places where you can get information about how to use Exif Tool. If you need specific help with Exif Tool, uh, you can always email me again, hot at twit.tv. That won't make it onto the show, uh, but it's something that I can kind of provide some further advice for. If you've already you know tried to research it yourself that's important to do first um as i said i've got a lot of questions that come through 